My name is Craig Frymond. I'm a writer and director of all sorts of things, uh, mainly focusing on film these days, but I uh, also direct theatre. We were sort of approached by these, by a group of people um, who were these two guys who'd gone through quite a an amazing sort of process of, of doing the doozy canoe marathon, uh, sort of a more sort of middle class, older white guy and a young black guy from an informal settlement called Elias Mozzoledi, who'd, who'd very different people, very different kind of backgrounds, who'd sort of, through a set of circumstances, teamed up and had this amazing experience uh, trying to do the doozy, which I didn't know very much about. Uh, and now an expert on, um, which is an arduous uh, undertaking, and just basically this is their story, and their, uh, it was a pretty compelling story the way that it was, um, and basically they said to us, do you think it can be a film, you know, and we were like, this was me and my producer, Robbie Thorpe, and we both sort of went, well, I don't see why it couldn't be a film. It's certainly got an interesting basis. We would need to dramatize a lot of it and take all the characters as sort of as far as we could. Uh, but we sort of said to them, you know, let's think about it. And then we were working on another project with Heartlines and Quizzical that kind of fell through. Uh, and this film seemed like a really good fit for the sort of kind of project we were trying to make with them. So we introduced them to the project. They loved it. And then, yeah, we were on. It was on. You know, basically take this original story, uh, a true story, and make it into a film. And that was the challenge, in a way. The research process was, was very much basically about meeting these guys, you know, the real guys who, who did it, and trying to find... When I say the film's about the doozy, it's not. The film's about two men, you know. Uh, and there, there happens to be a spine, almost like a sports movie, uh, there happens to be a spine of canoeing, but it's actually not really about that. It's about them overcoming you know, obstacles in their own private life and also uh, getting to know each other and the, the, the challenges that face them there. But the research was you know, trying to find out about this race, um, which is extraordinary, you know, like, and if you don't know about it, you don't know about it. It's like, do you comrades, what, you know, I, what, what do we know? I don't know. So, yeah, getting to find out about the unique aspects of the sport, the challenges, went and shot the doozy this year. Um, and let me tell you, you don't know anything about it until you're there. Shoot, you know, either doing it or shooting it. It's extraordinary. Like, it's extraordinary. Extraordinary landscape, uh, like 120 kilometers from Peter Maritzburg to Durban on a river. We started shooting on the 26th of October, <clears throat> and we had two, it's almost like we've got two shoots. We have a Joburg shoot, because most of the film happens in and around Joburg, and then we have a KZN shoot, where uh, we go tomorrow for two weeks to shoot basically all of the sort of the race side of it. So we're shooting in Durban, in the Valley of a Thousand Hills, in Peter Maritzburg, on rivers, uh, on dams, uh, Blue Lagoon, um, in Anderdam. Uh, all of them all sort of, you know, s the spectacular kind of vistas. Um, so we shot four weeks in Joburg which we've just finished, which was uh, interesting, grueling. A lot of the film happens outdoors, uh, very, very little interior. So it's just been challenging from that point of view, you know, like a lot of exteriors, uh, shooting in informal settlements uh, for quite a long time. Informal settlements are challenging because you, you're basically living, you, you, you're sort of seeing how that sector of the population lives which is challenging you know it's it's deeply deeply challenging you know and you kind of you know you, in a sense you have to shut it out a bit and carry on with your work but uh, it's 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 uh, it's hard I mean first of all 
like this is by far and away the most technically challenging thing that I've ever done. You know what I mean? My other films have been quite contained and quite simple by comparison. You know, they've been simple sort of character stories. This is filled with canoeing and running and, as you say, the equipment uh, aspect of that is, is challenging. So we started off with a whole lot of plans about this is how we're going to shoot the canoeing. Uh, <laughs> some of those plans worked, some of them didn't. Boats sank. Uh, because there was too much equipment on them. So, you know, we, 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 we've had some success. I mean, we shot on a smaller boat with a Ronin that was quite successful. We had another bigger boat, which had a, what they call a duck and arm, which is a duck is the boat and an arm that allows you to get out sort of in front of the canoeists. But, you know, up, up until, you know, last Friday, we were holding the canoe in front, you know, two meters off the off the bank and shooting on a long lens, holding it so that we were shooting here, and it was tremendously effective. When you've got like 60 canoes there and you're here, all you're ever getting are wires, you know, and it's quite difficult to get into that, which is why we we eventually sort of tried this idea of, of, of locking off the canoe. When you're on water and someone else is on water, and sometimes someone else is on water. So let's say you're shooting a conversation between these people on this canoe, this people on this canoe, and you're on a boat. You've got three things that are all moving. Wow. Do you know what I mean? So it's it's basically uh, incredibly technically challenging. And, and, and what we found, uh, you, you're basically trying to find a language that works, you know. And some of it has worked quite well being on the water, but we're battling to get this kind of what our editor likes to call grit, you know, it's like there. The emotion of the, of, of, of the stuff, the, what, what these guys are going through, which in actual fact is really what we should be concentrating on, you know, it's not, we're not trying to make a film about the doozy, you know, Supersport does that extremely well and they follow the race and, you know, our thing is much more sort of about these two guys and what they're going through. I'm working with a few people that I've worked with before. Uh, my producer, Robbie Thorpe, obviously, that I've made all my films with. Um, DOP is Trevor Calverley, who I worked with on Material, who is fantastic. Um, and always nice to work with someone more than once because you sort of, I guess you have a trust and you have a language that you start to develop. Um, so he's been great. Uh, sound, I'm working with President Kappa, who has done my last three films. Um, our editor, Nick Kostaris, a.k.a. A a a Nick the Greek, I'm working with for the first time, and he's amazing. We basically go into our main post, sort of January, February, March next year, and then grading, audio, all of that. So I think the film will be done kind of by the middle of next year. Um, but when it's going to be released is obviously a whole nother science, you know. So it's either going to be towards the end of next year or possibly the beginning of 2017. It's, it's quite a tough one in terms of target market because really it could be anybody. Uh, it's, I think, going to be a very inspiring story, uh, an emotional story. Uh, and it's also very... South African in the sense that it's sporty, it's outdoors, it's vistas, it's running, it's canoeing, it's water, it's training, it's, 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 it's in some senses like a sports movie, um, but that's a term that I, I use kind of nervously because it's also not, you know, it, but like all good sports movies aren't really sports movies, like Rocky, it's not really a, a film about boxing, it's a film about redemption you know in a way and this is a film I think about friendship you know and about uh, how like about when you have a common language you know and you have a common pursuit and a common goal how um, that can close gaps between people from very different um, backgrounds Definitely, we aim for cinema first, um, with a, with a proper decent theatrical run. That's our, always our aim. Um, uh, it's useful if you can do well uh, on cinema. Um, 
as a, as a platform for everything else. Uh, and then obviously we'll do TV, VOD, all of that. That's here. Uh, externally, you know, is always uh, uh, a whole nother story. And definitely one always follows sort of festivals. And But it's... Our main, our main target audience is here, you know, it's, it's, it's a film for South Africans and it's a film about South Africa and if it does more than that and if it travels further than that, then that's great, but that's certainly not our, certainly not our target market.